In this clip, I will be reviewing and testing two professional artist grade pencils, Caran d'Ache Luminance Wax and Oil Based Pencils and Faber Castell Polychromos. I will run through the pros and cons and test different blending techniques of each of the brands. Please keep watching until the end where I will give you a money saving tip. The main difference between Caran d'Ache Luminance and Faber Castell Polychromos is the binder. The binder in the Caran d'Ache Luminance is a wax and oil blend, whereas the binder in the Faber Castell is purely oil. The binder in a pencil is a material that holds the pigment together within the wooden casing and enables the functionality of the pencil. The next point to mention is the durability of the lead. Caran d'Ache Luminance is soft, however it can hold a point and is not prone to crumble when pressure is added like the Prismacolor, which is entirely wax based. The Faber Castell, because it's oil based, has a really hard lead so it can hold its point well. This is why it's ideal for detailed work. So next I'm going to talk about the build quality of both of the brands of pencils. They are similar in that they have a really good layer of wood around the lead and they both have a layer of wood around the end which is really useful because if you drop a pencil you don't want to break the lead within the pencil and that means that that lead is very well protected within that thick layer around the lead and at the bottom of the lead. Very often when you drop a pencil it means that that lead can get damaged. Also the lead is centered within the pencil which means again it's protected. I find often with Prismacolor the lead isn't centered and that means that the lead can get damaged. So both of them have a very good build quality which helps with making a decision about either of the brands of pencils. I've also found that both brands sharpen really well with um, the Derwent Manual Super Point Sharpener. Sometimes the Prismacolors, which is a brand that I also like, they struggle with the sharpening and they do blunt very easily. I've had to buy a special sharpener for them, but with the Derwent sharpener, you get them to a really fine point. I wouldn't be able to do that with the Prismacolor because they would just snap in half. Whereas I can sharpen both of these with the Derwent sharpener and I can get a really good point with them, which is great for layering and also for doing fine detailed work. Caran d'Ache Luminance has a wide variety of complex and vibrant shades. They specialise in natural and pastel colours which are great for portraits and animals. Previously they had 76 colours but last year they released an additional 20 shades with their portrait set so they now have a total of 100 colours. The colour quality of the Faber Castell on the other hand is quite translucent however this means that they are a great pencil for making layers of several different colours. Their larger set is 120. Light fastness is really important to professional artists because it means their work will stand the test of time. Caran d'Ache Luminance is tested by the ASTMD scale and claims to have created the most light fast pencil of all time. Polychromos is tested by the Blue Wall scale. If you would like to find out more information about light fastness in pencils, please visit the link below where you will find out a wide range of information about each individual pencil colour and their light fastness. As you are watching this clip, I'm sure you're more than aware of the pricing of these pencils in your country, but I just want to go through it and please remember to watch this clip right until the end where I will give you a money saving tip that will hopefully save you quite an amount of money if you are thinking about buying these pencils. So in the UK, as of May 2021, on Amazon, the Polychromos are £179.58. And I'm going to give you the price of both the 76 and the portrait set because as you know, Karen Dash bought out a portrait set last year and that meant that there was a, now a total of 100. It would be great if they could bring out a 100 set because that would mean you would have the opportunity to buy all of them in total and that hopefully they would reduce that price. But currently, if you wanted to buy both the 76 and the portrait together, that would be a total of £232.46, which is quite a significant amount of money for 100 pencils. One thing to mention before we get into the demonstration is I'm using two different brands of papers for each of the pencils and the reason for that is I want to be fair to each of the pencils. I did quite extensive, extensive tests before the demonstration just to make sure that I was being fair to each of the pencils and I found that the Luminous performs better on the Strathmore Bristol Smooth and that the 
polychromos performed better on sea white i would have normally used bristol vellum but i don't have any of that to hand at the moment and i don't know how long i would have to wait for it to arrive so i am using the sea white at the moment because it has more of a tooth or a surface to the paper texture so just to make you aware that it's really important that you use the right paper for your pencil and obviously that's down to preference so the main element of that is the pigmentation and the layering and we will discuss that more when we are going through the clip but just to make you aware that I'm using two different brands of paper so one brand for the Caran d'Ache one brand for the Polychromos so for this demonstration I added in areas about three or four layers I didn't go for any more than that because I just wanted to give an accurate idea of what this would be on an average layering image however you could add up to seven layers with the polychromo so you may see some of the tooth of the paper coming through but as I said I did choose each of the paper brands for each of the brands of pencils that reflected the best of each of the pencils you will see on comparison that the polychromos is slightly more vibrant than the choice of pencils that I went for with the luminance but I did go as close as color in color as possible and this is with the range of pencils that I have at my disposal at the moment and I feel that they are quite close as I said the Caran d'Ache is slightly less vibrant this is partly also why I chose these brands of papers because when I used the same brand for the Polychromos there wasn't the vibrancy. All in all though I feel that they are equal with their layering in that there is some tooth coming through. I, as I said I could have done more layers but I feel that it just shows that they are equal with regards to their capabilities. <clears throat> Most artists use white pencils for highlights and some use them for layering to lighten up the layers but for this particular technique I'm going to show you how to use a white pencil for blending and what I'm doing is I have used the previous demonstration of layering and I'm now going to add the white pencil on top and use a burnishing technique where I'm bringing all of those layers together by just adding a little bit of pressure with the white pencil so with the polychromos because it's quite a translucent pencil it is blending but it's not really bringing all of those layers together because the Caran d'Ache pencil is more opaque it's working more effectively with bringing those layers together I do use the Caran d'Ache luminance not only with the luminance colors but with other brands like Prismacolor although the Prismacolor white is quite good but if I was doing a piece of work with the polychromos I would probably use the luminance or the Prismacolor over the polychromos because the white polychromos pencil isn't really that effective with adding highlights or blending although in this instance with the colors that I've used it has actually been quite effective so the next blending technique I'm going to use is a pencil blender there are a wide variety of brands and there is certainly a Caran d'Ache pencil blender that comes in the set of 76 pencils however I'm going to use one that's impartial between the brands and that's the Derwent I found that this has worked really well with a lot of brands I use it with Prismacolor sometimes and I was concerned because I'm not really a fan of using pencil blenders I like to use different shades one or two hues um, lighter than the colors that I'm using however this has worked really well I was concerned about losing the vibrancy in the colors but particularly with the polychromos this has worked particularly well the vibrancy hasn't gone too much you will have noticed there was some debris coming off but it turns out that it's not affected it that much and the vibrancy in the polychromos isn't that bad so I'm quite pleased with the results before I move on to the last two tests I wanted to show you how well a razor works on the polychromos and the Caran d'Ache now you will find that there are dedicated erasers for these brands but I find that the Staedtler plastic eraser works just as well with both of these brands as you can see I don't have to use much effort to get a clean line through both of these brands solvent is a substance that blends a variety of materials including color pencil and oil pastel I'm using a brand called Zestit as it is not as toxic as other brands. I'm applying the solvent with a blending stump as I find that this creates a really smooth effect but you can use a paintbrush or even a cotton bud. I found that both brands performed really well when it, I used a solvent and there wasn't a great deal that I could choose between both.
So for this test, I decided to put quite a lot of pressure on both pencils and you can see with the luminance, the tip came off straight away. And the reason for this is because I use the polychromos quite a lot, as I've mentioned earlier, for adding details like eyelashes. I've tried to replicate this here in quite a crude way. <clears throat> but just to show you how the polychromos just has the edge over the luminance with regards to detail. Um, and you can see with the luminance what's happening is over time it's becoming quite blunt where it's the softer pencil so it's not keeping that sharp tip on the pencil. So now for the big question, which brand is best for you? So ultimately that is your decision. Do you use a lot of detail and do you prefer vibrant colours? If the answer is yes to that one then I would go for Fabric Castell. If you like subtle natural colours as you would use in a portrait and for animal pictures then I would be going for the Caran d'Ache Luminance. If you are in a position where you could do with both then I would have a selection of both. I myself have a selection of both and certainly both brands work together so you could for example use the Caran d'Ache Luminance for background areas where you're blending and filling up larger areas, especially if you use Zest It for blending those areas with the solvent. And then you could wait for that to dry and use the, the Polychromos for those detailed areas. Obviously there's the cost factor, so you may want to take that into account. But there is a money saving tip which I mentioned earlier. So here's my money saving tip. I hope that it will not only help you save money, but will help you organise your pencils for the future. A while ago, I bought a Prismacolor 132 set. I was pleased with the pencils and the quality and I still use them today, but I found that getting the pencils in and out of the tin really difficult. So I decided to buy this pencil case and it holds 200 pencils. It holds not only the whole of the 130 set, which I've built upon and I've bought further pencils, but I decided to start building upon the Faber-Castell set and I've then also bought the Caran d'Ache Luminance. So I've been building upon those pencil sets and also putting them within this pencil case. Now, the reason that I'm telling you about a money-saving tip is that what you can do, rather than investing in the Caran d'Ache 76 and 20 set and the 120 set, is you can buy what we call open stock. And that means buying your pencils individually. The reason for that is that especially if you're still not sure whether you want to buy both brands or one particular brand, you can maybe buy a selection of maybe skin tones if you do portraits, maybe buy six of each and then wait and see, try them out, see if you can use them together. I will sometimes use three brands. I will use Prismacolor, Caran d'Ache, and the luminance on one piece of work. And there's no reason why you can't buy both brands. I, I would suggest trying both and see if you like them because they all have different qualities. And if you decided that you wanted both, you could then build them up gradually. You don't have to make that large investment of buying both of the, uh, buying one of the brands in that presentation case, which you don't really need. This pencil case is perfectly fine for storing all of the pencils. If you want to take your work to the next level, then why not join me on Patreon? You will have access to a wide variety of exclusive content, including real-time tutorials, exclusive Patreon content, and also one-to-one -one feedback on your work. So why not become a patron to start the next step in your journey to drawing success?